Alright, what's up guys, Magic TK here, and you guys are watching yet another editing tutorial, and I actually really enjoy doing these, so definitely feel free to leave an effect down in the comment section down below that you guys would love to see me cover, because I'm all up for it, I love doing these. So, this one is going to be on a rainbowy plexus sort of thing, now if you guys don't understand what I mean by that, I would show you an example. Here, let's just see if we can find something on Google Images. I'll cut till I find something cool. So as we can see, this is sort of like what we're going to do. It's This is obviously in real life stuff, but we can recreate this kind of in After Effects. You guys will see what I'm talking about. So it's going to look pretty cool, pretty fun. So how you guys want to start off, you guys need a new comp, and we're going to call this Plexus Map, if I can spell. So um, basically, this is just going to be a color map so that the plexus will be a rainbow. So to start off, we're going to add a gradient to make all the colors and just search up a gradient in the effects and presets. So uh, I wanna make this from left to right, all the colors of the rainbow. So let's just go red and then maybe like blue and then, I don't know, green, bluish and then Boom, that's uh, maybe like yellow. And maybe we want this a bit more up. Alright, so I'm going to put these all on 360, so all of them are going to be exactly in the middle of the, of the comp, like up and down. And yeah, so the red is going to go to the very edge, and um, this is going to go to the very edge as well. So 0 and 1280 would be the edges of the comp. And the other ones are just going to go somewhere in the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect. Alright, that looks good. So another cool thing we can do is we can blend it together. So it looks more like a rainbow. Except, only thing is I want this to be a bit more like orange at the edges. And these two need to be in the opposite orders. I'm an idiot. This needs to be over here. And this needs to be over here. There we go. That should look a bit nicer. Sorry if my voice sounds a bit screwed up, by the way. I'm sorry about that. Alright, so that looks a bit good, except now that we've blended the colors together, it looks a bit grayed out. So if we add a hue and saturation, then we can just bump up the saturation, make it look a bit nicer. Alright, that doesn't look too bad. And I know it kind of looks kind of glitchy right here, but it won't look that bad in the actual comp. So, finally, we can get start start doing the plexus. Now, how to do this is you want to start a new solid, search up plexus, or just name it plexus, I mean. Then, plexus is pretty much also a third-party plugin. I forgot to mention that. It's really great. I suggest you guys get it. So, definitely a lot of fun to screw around with. So, anyways, you want to drag our plexus map in here. And how you use plexus, or at least the easiest way to use it, is to just draw a mask on plexus. So, like, I don't know, let's go like this some sort of circular thingy and then we want to select paths for the object so now as you can see that mask is where all these little dots are we can bump up the amount of dots if we really want to so one thing I'm going to do is I want to turn the masks off so that when I'm selecting and messing around with plexus then it doesn't annoy me and it just gets annoying to see a yellow beam there so we're going to turn that off so to get the rainbow effect we want to go and we want to add an effector we want to add a color map so do that then set the color map to our plexus map and as you can see all the particles are now the rainbow so that's pretty good we got that sorted out already so a few more things we want to add I'll explain these later but just add a noise add a transform and then in the renderer add lines and whoops come on triangulation Alright, so, let's go through these one by one so I can explain what they do, how to use them, and how to make a cool effect with them. So, the path object, pretty much all you have here is, first of all, the opacity of each point, and uh, how many points are on each mask. So, we're just going to leave that for now. The color map, we've already messed around with that. The noise effect. So, so this is probably the funnest thing to do in Plexus. I don't care if funnest isn't a word. This is so fun. So, basically, look what happens when I crank this up. So basically, it just displaces all the particles, and you get this really, really nice effect. Looks really, really sick. If we go into full res, and then full screen, 
then it looks really really nice really high definition really clean so that's the first thing you guys can mess around with if you want to bump up the noise amplitude we're just gonna leave it there that's fine for now so in the transform um basically all this does is exactly what it sounds like it transforms it so i'm just gonna center this a bit it also like if you're working in a 3d composition like say you are working on a motion track in a, in a call of duty map and you're trying to track this then you're going to need to use transforms so that this is in the right position on your plexus is where it's supposed to be i forgot to mention you can also rotate it in the y that looks pretty cool that looks nice actually <laughs> all right so x rotation z rotation you guys get the point so let's just reset all these values because i like it square and face in front all right so the points renderer this is basically, see these little points at every dot? That's basically what the points render is. I'm gonna bump this down to half res again, just so that it renders faster. So the point size, we can mess that up, but most of the time, what I like to do is just turn this off. It's up to you guys. If you guys really like these little points, you can bump up the size of them, however big you want. You can, get, you can make some cool effects with the size of these points, but in my personal preference, most of the time, I like to turn these points off. So. I'm just gonna do that and now we just get the lines and the triangles so in the lines render what you have to mess around here um the lines are basically the little lines you can see they're in between the triangles and stuff like that so what we can do is we can bump up the maximum distance so pretty much that means every points that are 10 vertices away which means like say it's gonna be hard to explain but say there's a point here a point here that's one vertice away so there's a point here a point here and a point here this one is three vertices away from this one, or two vertices, I guess. So, points that are 10 vertices away and only 178 pixels apart can connect lines. So, also opacity over distance. So, pretty much as the distance goes farther away, the opacity drains down. So, I, I would just suggest just leaving that how it is because it's pretty good for now. Um, also, and finally, we have triangulation render. Now, this is a this is really cool so you just mess around with these settings I think nearest triangles is just the best to do so you just have this the particles of vertices that you can use and then you have the maximum distance which you can crank up as much as you want you don't want to crank it up too much because it looks kind of ugly but I'd say like a 70 to 200 would probably look nice in this scenario let's just go about 90 Mm, maybe like one tip. All right, that's really clean. So uh, that's about it for this Plexus tutorial. It's not too much else. What I suggest you guys do is just completely mess around and select whatever you want. Oh, and also everything that I've mentioned in this whole tutorial is all keyframeable. So say you want the noise amplitude to go here, and at the end you want it to be like even more noisy. And you want it to be like an explosion sort of thing. That's what that would look like. There's so much effects you guys can use. It's so creative. This is why I love Plexus so much. Because you can literally just mess around for an hour. It's a lot of fun. That's what I love doing. Just messing around. And then at the end of it, you come up with something sick. And it looks really, really nice. So, um, to end this off, basically, hope you guys enjoyed. This, was, this wasn't really too in-depth on Plexus in general. I just wanted to give you guys a tutorial on how you can create this rainbow effect sort of thing. It looks really, really nice. You see it in some edits. I've used it a couple times. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. I'll show you this preview real quick. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you did. I'll see you guys later. Bye. I'm Magic TK. I'll see you guys later.